Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Tuesday. In this episode, I'm going to discuss why I hunt in all metal most of the time, and when I toggle between the two. We will be selecting the winner of the I Dig For You episode. We will also be selecting the winner of last week's Would You Dig It? Also in this video, I have two more giveaways. I have a CKG Equinox carbon fiber shaft to give away. Thank you, CKG. And at the end of this video, I have another Would You Dig It contest giveaway for a $25 Amazon gift card. So guys, let's get started. Okay guys, I got a quarter right there and a two scoop hole that I dug right there. I dug two scoops out of it, threw them out, right? I put that quarter there, I didn't dig it, okay? So, see the Knox absolutely loves that uh, quarter. I'm going to make sure I got my sensitivity is at 20, okay? I am in uh, beach one and I am not in all metal. I am discriminating right now. I would normally hunt in all metal, you know that, all right? But we're gonna do a demonstration today of why I do so, okay? So I got that quarter, it's right there. I'm gonna drop it in that hole that had two scoops. Now look, I haven't even filled that hole in yet, guys. Now look, you saw that quarter go in there. There's not much sand masking it, it's just that far down, right? All right, well, let's go ahead and cover it with sand. That quarter's not going anywhere, right? I would say that's... Now look. Let's go 90 degrees. Well, I get it one way, don't get it the other, right? Now, I don't know how well you're going to hear it in all metal, but we're going to go all metal. And now I'm going to get grunts. Now, if I had earphones on, I could hear the solid tone of a grunt. I know you can't hear that, but... So I know that is one solid iron sound, right? This is what I say every time. This highly mineralized sand, which masks the target. We know it's a good target, but would you have ever dug it? I would have. Here's how I would normally have done it. I would have just taken a scoop, checked it again. Sounded better, right? I take out another scoop. Normally I'd probably go around and go in a sound like a tent stake. Sounds like a tent stake, because that's what tent stakes sound like, right? But sounds like it's out of the hole. And now I know it's a quarter, right? And I probably missed that one. Yep. It's my wrist, guys. It's killing me right now. <sighs> yep, Tuesday. Tuesday's right around the corner, which you guys will be seeing today and reminding you if, if I'm not chatting with you is because uh, I am in the doctor's office because it's scheduled for 7 a.m. All right, so that's that quarter that was sitting right there. The sounds so good out of the hole. Now remember, this is just two scoops, right? I'm just gonna put it right back in that same hole again. All right, that sounded good that time, right? Probably didn't go to the bottom of the hole. acting like a tent stake hear that i don't know if you guys can hear the negatives i hear the grunt and yeah that'd be a target i'd dig because i'm used to it here all right and that's why i also hunt with earphones i could hear that grunt pretty solid it's a solid tone of iron it does that so i'm taking my scoop throw it out didn't sound too much better. I'll take another scoop. Did I get it out? Nope. <laughs> you guys know, I know it's there. Oh, 
I'll tell you how tough this sand is to deal with. Right there, huh? Well guys, I hope that clarifies why I hunt in all metal most of the time. So, when do I take it out of all metal? Usually when it's a really trashy area. Meaning it's got a lot of iron bits all around it that just make your knocks not detectable in those areas. Fire pits are one of them, right? I'll get into the fire pits discriminating first to dig out every single high tone I can, right? And then I go in and target the mid and low tones, if I can handle it, that is, because you know the fire pits, it's tough. So when I toggle to discriminate, it's usually when there is a lot of iron pieces, not black sand, right? Sometimes I'll toggle out of highly rich black sand areas only if I'm going after really shallow targets. Okay, and most of the time you guys know I'm digging deep, so that's why I'm hunting in all metal most of the time. Okay guys, now it's time to select the winner of the I Dig For You. So guys, in the month of November, you commented on my videos every time you saw one of my gemstones. And each one of those comments generated a little slip of paper with your YouTube username, right? I just cut that out and created little slips of paper. Let me grab this. And I threw them in my little coin container. I'm not sure where my wife got this. I think it had snacks in it or something. All right. And I don't know how well you guys can see in there, but there's names all up in there. One side of the slip, but you know, each one of them's got a, a name on there. So what I'm gonna do is reach in there right now. So every time you commented on one of my videos, you got one of these slips generated. That's why there's so many. And it did take a little while for Jim to cut them out. But I started doing that with every video, made it much easier, right? So, now all I'm gonna do right now, now that I got it all stirred up, is reach right down in here. Oh, cause there's so much chain in here, this thing's heavy. All right, what do we got? focus in on there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can't read it yet. Sorry guys, I still can't read it yet. I can't read it through the camera. Christine Nichols, congratulations. You won the I Dig For You. Send me an email. You can find that in the About Me section of my channel page. Is you get to pick the beaches that I hunt. All 42 miles of Orange County beaches. Any beach that you want me to go to, I will be hunting on a Friday. And everything I dig belongs to you. All the trash and all the treasure. Of course, you probably don't want the trash. Unless you really want the trash, I will send that to you as well. And just in case I don't find anything great, I'm throwing in a $25 Amazon gift card. So... You know I do pretty good on these beaches most of the time, so I'm hoping I do very, very good for you, Christine. And send me all your good, positive gold vibes, because I want to dig gold for you. I really do. It's one of the best things I do, and it's one of my favorite things to do, and I'm hoping I get to dig gold or platinum, diamonds, whatever I can dig for you. It's going to be my pleasure digging for you, Christine. Thank you so much for all your great comments. And again, send me an email. You can find that in the About Me section of my channel page and I will make arrangements with you and I will be hunting on a Friday, okay? So guys, now it's time to select the winner of last week's Would You Dig It? Okay guys, I'm here at Seal Beach. I'm right next to the pier and I got a Would You Dig It? right here. Now, for a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Tutorial Tuesday, let's take a look at this one. Let me turn that light on. You might be able to see it better. Let's go 90 degrees. Would you dig it? 
If you would dig it, comment below what you think it is, and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Tutorial Tuesday. Okay, guys, let's dig this one up. Out. And that is an aluminum bottle cap. All right. Here's Irene. Here's Andrew. All right. I think we're almost done here. Okay, guys, it's time to select the winner of last week's Would You Dig It? I'm going to my TubeBuddy app. I'm selecting Pick a Winner. Comment must contain the words. I'm going to use aluminum for aluminum screw cap. Pick a winner. Metal detecting WA. I think that is a aluminum screw cap. Well, this is my buddy Rick, guys. He lives up in Washington. It was a uh, lower Columbia River uh, area that he metal detects quite a bit. He's actually really super knowledgeable and gets a lot of these answers right. So congratulations, Rick. Send me an email. You can find that in the About Me section of my channel page. And I will send you out your $25 Amazon gift card. Congratulations again, Rick. You know the scoop. Send me an email. You can find that in the About Me section of my channel page. And I will send you out your $25 Amazon gift card. And guys, I will tell you, he's probably right 70 to 80% of the time on these Would You Dig It's. And I would say that's outstanding as much as Jim tries to trick him up. <laughs> So he has a tremendous knowledge. Fantastic win. So guys, let's take a look at the CKG Carbon Fiber Equinox shaft that I'm gonna be giving away. Okay guys, I don't know if I've ever showed you the Equinox shaft that I use. It's the Carbon Fiber Equinox shaft from CKG. I absolutely love this thing. I've been using it uh, since April. Uh, every single day i really have only had one issue with it and that was because it was a prototype that they sent and they resolved that issue um got a little rust spot right in there so i squirt it with some wd-40 every once in a while to clean it up a little bit and then immediately wash it with some some water so uh, i know the the wd-40 is like a solvent so i wouldn't want the the plastics or anything to get eaten away i know it does on golf clubs so i could imagine it happens the same way on any plastics right um so i absolutely love it and guess what they reached out to me and said hey we want to give one away and so i need to come up with a game yeah let's let's make it interesting and fun because i absolutely love this thing and i'm just getting ready to finish and all I got to do now is, oh, my ring is making this Knox go crazy. It needs to find gold is what it needs to do. But yeah, nice and super lightweight. This thing is so nice. Makes it so easy just to carry on out or to carry on in or store or put away. I absolutely love my CKG carbon fiber Equinox shaft, guys. It is one of my best tools in my arsenal. It really is. I've been using it since April and loved it ever since I've had it. Guys, I have a great fun game so you guys can win this. Now, for you Equinox owners, all right, this is going to be a little tricky, but we're going to have fun, all right? So you guys are gonna guess the numbers, all right? So, this tiny gold ring, I don't know if it's focusing all that well. See, it's fairly thin. It's a gold ring, so if it's laying in the flat position, what number will it ring up? Comment below. All right, I got two more guesses for you guys, or two more items for you guys to guess. So, the first one is the gold ring. Tell me, what number is this little gold ring gonna come up? The next one is 
I have a quarter. So when this quarter is laying flat, what will it ring up? This isn't a regular quarter either, guys. See how black it is? That's a silver quarter. So what number will it ring up on the Equinox? Okay, sometimes it'll ring up a couple of different numbers. As long as you guessed one of them correctly, all right, that's all that matters. And you only get one answer, all right? So if you guys are guessing that's gonna ring up a certain number, use that one number, okay? And here's number three a silver chain okay so this is a broken silver chain and I am going to lay it flat like this double folded over okay so you can see it's just like that so I'm gonna lay it flat when we do the test next week and select the winner okay so for the CKG carbon fiber equinox shaft you need to guess the numbers of the gold ring, the silver quarter, and the silver chain. And we will show that next week, all right, and select the winner. So guys, just want to let you know that that CKG carbon fiber equinox shaft is only $74.25 on the ckgscoop.com website. All right, and if you use the promo code FWJ, you get 10% off, bringing it down to like 67 bucks. And it includes the upper and lower shafts, guys. So it's the complete kit, it's everything you need. All you gotta do is put your other Equinox components on it and go. That's what I did in April and I haven't looked back since. It is so light and what I like about it is how compressed I can get it and make it fit in a nice tight bag or in the trunk of my car nice and easy. So guys, now it's time to play the this week's Would You Dig It? Okay guys, I got one for you here. I am in Beach One, all metal mode. Turn the light on. I don't have the earphones on, and I got a target that I put right there. So, for the Would You Dig It? and a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Tutorial Tuesday. Let me know what you think it is. All right? Let's go 90 degrees. Would you dig it? Comment below what you think it is and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Tutorial Tuesday. Would you dig it? I dug it. Would you dig it? Now, if you would dig it, comment below of what you think it is and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Tutorial Tuesday. And guys, if you like my video, please click like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. Ring in this bell and receive all the notifications every time I release a new video. And please take a look at either one of these videos.